At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Leicester City up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Number seven, Harvey Barnes. And number 22, Kieran Dewsbury. Here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Wilfred Ndidi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Here's the lineup for Manchester United. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. Absorbing match in prospects. Manchester United get the ball rolling. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Did well to win the ball back. Ronaldo. No, high quality defending. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. And Leicester get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Daka. Tielemans. It's a good Leicester move in the making. Tielemans. Madison. Ndidi. Tielemans. And dispossessed. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. And now Rashford. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. James Madison. He's going forward well here. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Could be dangerous. Can they square the game? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Ericsson. Fred. 
And he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Tielemans. Madison with it. Beautifully weighted ball. Madison. Clean challenge. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Bruno Fernandes. A gift for any goalkeeper. Superbly read and executed. Sancho. Options in the centre. Fred. Real chance. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming down. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Goal for Manchester well, a second United. goal for them here. Cristiano Ronaldo. Fred. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Ndidi. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And so the ball is rolling again, and Leicester are left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Bruno Fernandes. And here is Malassia. Marcus Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Sancho now. Mastery of the passing game. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Fred. Did well to win the ball back. Can they create something from here? Iheanacho has it. Well-timed tackle. Jadon Sancho. Ronaldo. Jadon Sancho. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Here's a change for Manchester United. Number 10, Marcus Rashford, to be replaced by 21, Frankie Dijon.
And over from Eriksen. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, let's take another look, because this is how to take a penalty. He strikes it with such confidence and composure. It's a brilliant penalty. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Tielemans he continues his run and after the cross defensive action called for strong but fair tackle Ndidi played into the centre can he put it in well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. De Jong. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Ricardo Pereira, in behind for him to chase. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 32, Christian Eriksen, to be replaced by... De Jong. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Ten minutes to go. De Jong. Malasia. Here's Ronaldo. Just straying offside. Five minutes remaining, but you just feel this is over already. Tielemans. Chalar Zayunchu. Wesley Fofana. Now in Didi. Here's Tielemans. Madison. Still not clear. And flag raised offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Here's a change for Manchester United.
And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Bruno Fernandes. On to De Jong. Van der Beek. And let's give credit to the defending. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans. They've really 